You can write at me yeah, when we're talking. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. Whenever you're ready. All right. Uh, so, uh, tell me about what, what was important about today's announcement. I think that's the most important thing about today's announcement is to make sure that we get more people to donate uh, organs uh, for transplant and both organs and, and tissues for transplant. We need to increase the numbers. There are a lot of people on the waiting list. And why is raising awareness such a critical thing in a state like this? I, I think in New York State we have uh, 19 million people in the state. We have thousands of people on waiting lists. We have about 10,000 people on a waiting list, uh, and they need uh, transplants. And if they don't get a transplant, they'll probably die. And that's why we're pushing so hard. So today you, you, you stood with uh, Lauren Shields, uh, a recipient, and then Crane Pool, uh, a potential candidate. Uh, what did you take away from hearing them speak? Well, I, I think both of them uh, sp spoke. I think both of them spoke so eloquently. Uh, Lauren's story, and I was talking to her after after the event, her story about how uh, she waited for a heart transplant and all that was involved in that, uh, and the Lauren's Law and how her commitment to advocate on behalf of all those <coughs> who are waiting for transplants and obviously can't advocate on their own behalf at that moment. So uh, it was a, quite an amazing story, and obviously Ed Creampool, his story of waiting for a kidney transplant at this point, and, and his commitment, his dedication, and here's a superstar sports figure who is like everyone else when it comes to issues of Health. We're all in this. We're all in this together.